Hello, zombie slayers. Dead Island 2 has an issue that you do not want to experience. Stay tuned and I'll explain. The other night while playing Dead Island 2 with a friend who recently got the game, my computer met its match, and her name is Mittens. While she's very sweet and cute, she's also a cat. And if you have cats, then you know they like climbing on everything. And for some reason, people keep putting power buttons on the top of things. This may not seem major, but imagine my surprise when I logged back in to find that my game looked like this. Where are my characters? My hours and hours of gameplay, lost. Surely this is in the epic cloud somewhere, right? The answer is no. Now you might say, I don't have a mittens at my house and think this won't affect you. But do you have power? Because according to this player, it happened to his friend when his power went out. But you may say, no big deal. I have a UPS and if my power goes out, I have time to disconnect. But do you have a PC? Because this user said the same thing happened to him when his game just simply crashed. And so did this one, and this one, and this one, and so on. So what is going on here? First, let me put this out there. While Deep Silver claims no fault on this issue, it is very much their fault. Just as much as it is Epic's fault. Lots of finger pointing is happening toward Epic Games, or apparently having poor cloud service. But I can tell you from experience that while playing Fortnite, their arguably most popular game to date, I never had an issue with cloud services not knowing the progress of my characters during the season. And trust me, I went through plenty of hardware during my time playing Fortnite. So if there was an issue, surely I would have experienced it. But I don't know what's causing this issue, so maybe it is Epic's fault. But here is where I'm not letting Deep Silver off the hook. They're aware of the issue, and yet have no solution, and while I don't know what perks they got for providing Dead Island 2 exclusively to Epic, shutting out Steam for at least the current time, that was still a choice that they made. And having some business experience, I'd say that those perks were at least partially monetary. Now, unless they have a psychic on staff over at Deep Silver, there's no way that they could know this issue was going to pop up. So I'd like to put that out there first. But pointing the finger at someone else rather than solving the issue isn't a good look, ever. So is it Deep Silver's fault? Is it Epic's fault? Probably a little bit of both. Either way, as a player, you should know this exists and be aware that you're basically playing Russian roulette every time you play. Thankfully, the odds are mostly in your favor, as even though there are many reports on this issue, the game has sold well over a million copies, so the percentage of players affected is still fairly low. So can you prevent this from happening to you? Maybe. If you are good about backing up your PC, you're probably fine. If you make a copy of your save file frequently, you may also be good. Although some people reported that having this backed up and copying their save file didn't help the issue. And while apparently Deep Silver has told some people that they know the issue exists and that they are attempting to fix the problem, it's been at least a couple of weeks since they were made aware and well, this just happened to me this week. So it's not fixed, and it can still happen to you. In the meantime, there is one possible fix. There is no guarantee that this works, although some users are saying that it does. I haven't personally attempted wiping my game beta just to check. But better safe than sorry, and you better bet I'm still backing up my save files. But in your display settings, turning off both of these settings may prevent this from happening to you. Is Dead Island 2 still a good game? Definitely. Am I still playing it? Of course. Am I more careful than before? Definitely. I'm sure this will get ironed out eventually, but I'm not waiting to play until it does. And I'm certain any of you playing this game don't want to lose your hours of progress on characters either. If you'd like to read the Reddit thread where I got much of the information I shared here, I'll leave a link in the video description. If you've experienced this, let me know in the comments. Tell me what happened, how many hours you lost, and if you were able to recover your characters. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and remember, gaming should be fun.